Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be continuing talking about electric current and Ohm's law. Firstly, we're going to start talking about resistance. What factors affect electrical resistance? A material's thickness, length, and temperature affect its resistance. Resistance is opposition to the flow of charges in material. As electrons move through a conducting wire, they collide with electrons and ions. These collisions convert some kinetic energy into thermal energy, and the current is reduced. The SI unit of resistance is Ohm. Using a thick straw to drink a milkshake is easier than using a thin straw. Similarly, electrons flow more easily through a thick wire than they flow through a thin wire of the same material. Those here are metal ions, the blue ones, and here we have electrons. Resistance is greater in a longer wire because the charges travel farther. As temperature increases, a metal's resistance increases because electrons collide more often. A superconductor is a material that has almost zero resistance when it is cooled to low temperatures. Then we have voltage. What causes an electric current? In order for charge to flow in a conducting wire, the wire must be connected in a complete loop that includes a source of electrical energy. We have a concept called potential difference. Water falls spontaneously from a higher to a lower height. Likewise, electric charges flow from a higher to a lower potential energy. Potential difference is a difference in electrical potential energy between two places in an electric field. Potential difference is measured in joules per column, or technically volts. Because it is measured in volts, potential difference is also called voltage. A pump lifts water to the top of the fountain, increasing the gravitational potential energy of the water. A voltage source increases the electrical potential energy of electric charges. A source of voltage does work to increase the potential energy of electric charges. Three common voltage sources are batteries, solar cells, and generators. A battery is a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy. And we are going to be continuing talking about Ohm's law and series in parallel circuits.